Monday. Let's get into this. My Monday or my Friday, your Monday. <laughs> What is up everybody? Today is Monday guys, my Friday. Everybody else is Monday. My last day of the week, my fifth day of the week. Today, uh, last thing, well yesterday we were hearing the news and uh, some new, man, look, the mountains have a lot of snow today. It's been raining a lot right here guys, so the mountains look really, really nice. This morning I was gonna throw my drone up and have it follow me to work, but kind of ran out of time and I'm not too sure if it's gonna work the right way, so uh, I gotta get better at it. I gotta get better at it, but I'm gonna start using more drone shots. I'm gonna try to get a drone shot today so you guys can see the mountains and how they look up here. Cause uh, it's been raining a lot over here, so the mountains look spectacularly beautiful, guys. Guys, today is Monday, the 20, 23rd, 24th of, of January. Uh, good news, supposedly, I'm not sure, but supposedly our governor here in California, Governor Newsom, is gonna uh, lift the stay-at-home orders for our state, for our businesses, so. Uh, businesses, uh, restaurants, hair salons, shops, uh, everything will be back, back opening back up. I think apparently starting today, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I just heard caught wind. It's not official, but I'm hoping that it's true. You know, that way we can start opening back up to normal again. Um, so that, that's going to be, that's going to be a true test, true test. You see what happens today. Today he's going to announce it. So hopefully after he announces it, then it, it, it'll be on guys. Uh, we can open back up and get back to regular business. But I'm headed to the shop. Today is going to be a, a flying solo. Boys are, are, are not working. Raul and Dave. Uh, you know Raul and Dave are both my apprentices. So today they are both uh, not coming in because uh, apparently the apprentice school is holding class from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. today. So they both have to attend. Uh, so they won't be coming through. So I'll be working solo today. Uh, luckily, I don't have to go to the bank today. So I'm just going to clean my shop because last week I skipped. I didn't get a chance to clean it. So this week it's extra dirty. So today, I dedicate myself to cleaning the shop and then just doing all walk-ins. I probably have about five appointments. It's not going to be too crazy busy, but I'm sure we are going to have some people here. But uh, that's on the agenda for today. Uh, there's other things that we're going to talk about. We'll get to that in a minute. All right, guys, let's get, let's get to the shop first what our morning's looking like guys rained all last night it's gonna be clear today and tomorrow and then it's gonna start raining on Wednesday again but you can't really see behind those mountains but look right now I'm gonna take my drone up and you're gonna see there's all kinds of snow back there it's a beautiful morning guys a beautiful morning let's get this side hopefully they open us back up guys I hope we can open up our windows turn on our on sign I'm not gonna lie guys I'm a little skeptical about opening back up don't get me wrong I don't want to be closed down but last time we opened back up it got slow for us <laughs> it's like all the shops open up so everybody uh decides to uh that's my drone right there in case you guys are wondering that little case right there that's how small it is check it out a tiny little case but uh yeah let me turn you around. Yeah, but that happened to us last uh, last time they shut us down and uh, when they opened back up. We were slow, guys. We were slow. It's like, you know, people went back to their old shops. And, and then right now you get a lot of walk-ins, you know. People are coming by that that normally don't even come to the shop. And, you know, you're getting new clients. And so uh, uh, the new clients, you know, you try to do your best and just try to get a, keep them here. But, you know, sometimes, you know, we might be higher price than most people pay. You know, my, my, my prices are 25 a haircut. And uh, a lot of shops around here are still at 15 down the street over here. There's some $15 shops. There's some, you know, I don't know about $10 shops, but I'm sure there is. I'm sure there's a lot of $20 shops too. But uh, so we're 25 right here. We're like, 
we're one step above the highest, you know, around here, the highest in my city over here is there's one plot, one shop is charging 40. So they're still $15 higher than I am. Um, you know, that's okay. Uh, they, they, they provide a different type of service. So it's okay. Uh, it is what it is. You know, you can't, you can never complain or bag on somebody else's uh, achievements or, or how they got to a higher price guys. You know, ultimately that's what I want to do. I want to be at 40 bucks a haircut. You know, but I think if I do that right now, I'll price myself out. Uh, there'll be a handful of my clients who will not leave. They'll stay with me because they value me and they know how good I am. But I think a majority of my clients would probably not come to me or my shop if I started charging 40 bucks a haircut. So, um, you know, I gradually rise. That's the way I started. When I opened up the shop, I was at $10 a haircut. And now we're at 25, 11 years later. So somewhere along the line, I've always risen at least a dollar. In some years, I went up $2. A haircut uh so now we're at 25 um this year i did not go up at all i i, I want to go up to 30 but uh i got want to go up to 30 but i didn't go up to 30 because of the pandemic so what i'm gonna do what i decided to do for 2021 is i'm just gonna leave my price alone 2021 i'm just gonna leave it alone and i'm gonna go up to 30 next year either next year or, or 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 july it just depends it depends how busy we get if we start getting really busy then i'm going to go up to 30 but if not by next year i'm going to be at 30. now my reasoning for that i'm going to explain it to you guys i was thinking about going up two dollars to 27 instead of going up to 30 but i feel like two dollars is not going to make that much of a difference guys and what all it does is charging two dollars all you're doing is really undercutting your tip you know what I mean? Because because right now people are dropping thirty. And they they drop thirty. They give you five, and twenty five goes to the box. Now you're now you as a as a business owner. Some of you business owners might be thinking like, why would you do that? Big Al, you're cutting yourself out because of the extra two dollars. Yeah, but at the same time, guys, right now we're in a hard situation. A lot of people don't have money, don't have the 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 resources. So right now it's not the time to be greedy and try to go up. I think. I think this year because the situation where everybody's at and you know some people are out there a lot of people are out there hurting and they're hurting because they don't have the 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 money to to survive this or you know the resources to survive this so right now i think just going up in price is not the right thing to do so that's why i decided this year to stay at the same price and then next year i'm going to go up to 30 i'm going to i'm going to go up five bucks at once which you know i've never done that's the first it's going to be the first time i've ever done that but at the same time I feel that my quality is above 25, you know, my boys, they're getting there and they're not quite there yet. You know, they're, you know, they're, they're there, they're charged at 25, but to get to 30 is a different level. So I think we're all, we're just going to wait a year and grow together. And then that way, when we move up to 30, these guys will be more seasoned. They've already been here for a couple of years and it, it won't, it won't be that bad. It won't be, I, I know it'll work out, but that's my reasoning behind that. Just give you a little explanation of how that works, but uh, we'll see. Okay, let me get started on this day, and, and then we'll see what's up. All right, guys, you guys have a blessed day and grind on.
pretty much official, guys. I already heard they're going to open us up back up today. So guess what? What I'm doing today is I'm opening my windows. Yes! Get to hear some, see some outside action. Then be locked away. I love it. So my on sign is back on. Turn it back on. Windows are open and we're ready for some action. All we need is clients now. Probably won't be too busy today. It's kind of an ugly, super cold day outside. As you guys just saw in my video, I just flew the drone out there. Got a couple shots of the mountains. Got a couple videos. Did a couple videos from my neighbors right here. The super liquor and the laundry mat. Jack from Jack's Liquor. That's my good homie right there. And I uh, made them a video so uh, they could post it up on their pages for advertisement and stuff like that. But today's going to be a quiet day. I, I could tell already. I probably got about five or six appointments. I'm going to make some money. Don't get me wrong, guys. Especially with it being open again, I, I feel it's good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start right now. I'm going to start on my cleaning in here. The shop definitely needs to be clean. I'm going to wipe down my entire station. Take everything off it. Clean it, wipe it down, and then I'm going to do the whole entire shop. Leave this place spick and span. Uh, we're not going to go back to regular hours yet. Not this week, probably. Maybe next week. I got to talk to the boys and get them back into working Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Since we've been staying closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. But since the order's going to be lifted, then we got to go back to opening seven days a week. That's how I run my shop, guys. I run open seven days a week. So uh, I might have to close a Tuesday. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see what the we'll see we we'll see how the boys are, are are gonna be doing it, but we need to open back up seven days a week again and, and start grinding grinding hard, you know what I mean? And start advertising, putting up videos, letting everybody know that we're back on track. And that's what another thing I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna start posting some videos right now on Facebook and letting everybody know that we are open for action, so they can get back in here, guys. Um, you know, like I said, times like this is when you pick up new clients, guys. By Going up and beyond the, the call of duty and, and, you know, putting yourself out there and doing the right thing. But we still need to be careful, guys. Stinks hitting close to home. One of my cousins is my good, my good cousin. I heard uh, she, she, she got the COVID right now. She's in the hospital. Uh, one of the neighbors here from the liquor store got the COVID. So we're, you know, it, it's going around, guys. It's going around. So we just need to be careful and be vigilant and, and, and continue to do our part to not spread it. All right. So, get started on this day. I'm going to start on my cleaning right now. See what this day brings us again, guys. Let's do this. Okay, guys. That's it for today. This Monday is over. We are officially back open for business. Governor called it today. And, um, hey, guys. I'm just glad to be back, you know. I, I, I think it's probably going to get a little slower before it gets busier. Because, uh, you know, everybody's going to run back to their original barbers. Um, the only thing I can hope for is that we pick up a lot of new clients and then the clients that have been sitting it out will come back to us. So, but you know what guys, I'm just glad that our industry is back open and other barbershops will be able to, to, uh, to benefit from, from working because it's been tough guys. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, barbers out there that, you know, that they didn't open up and, and, you know, and, and I feel for them. I feel for them. Not, not because they didn't want to do it, but because, you know, it, it, it's, it's important to follow the rules, you know, and, and I commend them for that. I commend them for that. You know, me, myself, I, I got to do what I got to do to survive this guys. That's how I look at it. I have to do what I got to do to survive. I won't have money in reserve to to just fork out for for uh, 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 um, for rent and, and utilities and all that, and plus my regular bills. Oh, it's crazy, guys! It's crazy. But um, you know, that's it for today. This day is over, guys. Um, there's one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. Let me. So the question that was posed by one of our subscribers, his name's Joaquin Faz on, on on YouTube, was what kind of a booking app do I use or or for my appointments and how do I run it? So let me explain to you guys. That's why I'm on my good camera right now because I wanted to show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys a demo on my phone how I use it. But on my uh, here at my shop, I have two things. I have an app that I pay for. And the app basically is an app that's downloaded onto your phone. If you guys go on your Google Play or your Play Store or your, if you're an iPhone, if you're a iTunes, iTunes stores, go look up Big Al's Barbershop and you'll see the uh, icon comes up right away. It's our app for our shop. You could download it. And then once you download it, once you download it from that app, you'll see my our, our book comes up right away when you open it. 
And um, on the book, you could pick which barber you want to go to. You could pick it uh, and, and book your appointment through there. Um, also, my Instagram's linked to it. Um, I also do uh, um, I do uh, uh, stamps, digital stamps on there for every haircut they do. They give me their phone. I digitally stamp it, and after 15 haircuts, they get one free. Um, I have my YouTube link on there. I have my uh, uh, pictures of different haircuts just to entice the clients to come in. So that's my own personal app. Big Al's Barbershop. If you guys want to look at it, check it out. I'm going to show you guys a demo of it right now. Um, but my booking service, the booking service that I actually use to, to book my clients, because my app does have a, a, a built-in app, built-in uh, uh, appointment system that I don't like. To, I don't use it because I, I thought it was kind of cheaply on it. You know, the, I like the whole part of using the app, but I don't like the booking system that it came implemented on there. So what I do is I use an uh, outside service. I, I use Acuity Scheduling. If you never heard of it, look it up, Acuity Scheduling. Uh, they charge me 20 bucks a month, and um, that's for my whole barbershop. And from there, you know, you create your services, and you, so when the person opens up the, the book, you'll see that it, it looks right there on your, let me show you guys, let me, let me demonstrate. I'm gonna do a demo on it right now so you guys see exactly how it looks, okay? Hold on a second. Okay guys, here's my phone right here. I'm having it on a stand right now. As you guys can see right there, you can see, my little app icon right there. Let me try to zoom in. See if I can zoom in. See right there? So I'm going to press on that. And that's going to open up my app. So when I press on my icon, if you download this, you'll be able to see it yourself. That's what comes up first. Once that comes up, you're going to see that uh, my book comes up. That right there that popped up. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. That is a what we call a push notification. Push notification means that um, it's a message that I can send out to everybody who downloads our app, which is very super convenient. That's one of the main reasons why I have this because everybody that downloads this app from my shop, I send messages to out throughout the day. So that's a, it's called a push notification message. And you can see my app right here. Okay, I'm trying to keep this still, but it's hard guys because it's not balanced right. But you can see right here, here's my app. Um, this is me right here, and I got all my guys right here, Tony, uh, J-Lo, Raul, Biz, and Dave. And then down here at the bottom, these are all my recent posts from Instagram that, that show up automatically. But say for instance, if I want to go into mine, somebody wants to book with me, then they'll click on this. They'll, call, no, they'll click on this book now, and that takes you directly to my book. Now this is my book directly for Big Al's Barbershop. See? And this explains my little disclaimer right here. Then I have all my services that I, I pick from right here. So if the person wants to book with me, then they could click on regular haircut. Say, for instance, they pick the day that they want to come in. You can see right here, the day. Click on that day. And then the times will all come up. Pick a time. Then uh, once they pick a time, it's just one time. And then you're going to put all your information, your name, your first name, last name, and your phone number, your email address, and all that saves all that information for me to use later on if I need to download it and saves all that information, which is super convenient if you're gonna do a email uh, 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 list of, of uh, clients. So that's basically my app right there, guys. Let me, let me go back. Go back to my app, see if I can get it back on here. Hold on, let me close all these. And we'll go back to the app again. Where's that app again? There it is. So I'm going to open up the app, show it to you guys one more time. That's how it opens up. Okay. See down here? These are all my different uh, pages that I have on the app. That's first. That's my booking service. Again, that's a post notification that pops up. Those are old ones that I've sent out. See down here? I have my book now, which people could book with me, and right that, which is that's the one it's on right now. Then I go here, and then it'll take you to my YouTube section. My YouTube section, and then you'll see videos pop up. My phone is super slow right now. I don't know what the hell is going on with T-Mobile, but T-Mobile has been sucking nuts lately. But um, that shows my YouTube channel. Then I got pictures over here. Uh, pictures are just going to be pictures and videos that pop up that I've made to demonstrate to the clients that we know how to cut hair here. You know what I mean? And I'll go to my loyalty program. See my loyalty program? Loyalty programs for all the clients. So when they come in, after 15 haircuts, um, they'll get one free. And what this does is it keeps... See, once they... they, they, they um, once they, they the person will subscribe and then I push in here, 
when the client comes in, we'll see my emails. Not, I'm not saved on here. But once you, once I click on that stamp, I click on their stamp. I want to stamp it. I'll click there. Then I got to put my code in, and that saves the the, the number of of of, of, uh, of haircuts that they've gotten over the at, here at the shop. Once once they've they've filled this up, then you'll see a thing that pops up right here that says one free haircut due, and that's when I owe the client a haircut. So that's basically my app for the shop. But let me show you guys my Acuity app. The Acuity app is what I use when I get when I get um. Damn, my phone's full of clutter, guys. Where's my Acuity? Let me see. Hold on. Now the Acuity app is what I use right here. I click on that one, and that that'll tell me what haircuts I have. Say for instance today, today I didn't have almost no, I only had three haircuts all day to the schedules. But the point is that, you know, let me show you a more busier day. See yesterday, yesterday I had all these haircuts. I had one slot open. So that was that was that day, Saturday. So these are all the clients that book with me throughout the week. Yeah, that Saturday I wasn't even oh that's when I had the four people miss with me, I was telling you guys. But say for instance, people book It'll send them a, a, a reminder the day of, the day before, and four hours before the appointment. You know what I mean? So say, for instance, this guy right here. If I want to see this guy, I click on him, and it'll tell me who he is. I could click on his phone number and then text him, and it'll take me to my text. So if I want to text that individual, I can, which is super convenient. So that's basically my, 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 my scheduling app that I have for the shop. Um... You can see last week was a slow week. It wasn't even busy. So if I take you to the following week, the following week was super busy. We were packed all day long. That day I was completely booked. That was on a Monday. But today was a great day actually for, for it being only by myself. So that's my acuity scheduling act from there. I could set my, I could go by availability. Like say if I want to change my, um, the days that I work. Or the days that I want to schedule for myself, I go right here. That's my calendar. I could pull up every every barber's calendar, see see av availability, and I can set my times that I'm working. Or if there's individual certain days that I'm going to work, I can set it up right here and set it all up. So that's a QD scheduling, guys. Uh, it's great, super easy to use, and it's super inexpensive. Only twenty dollars a month, and you get six calendars sets for six different barbers. So. Keep that in mind. But that's pretty much for my uh, uh, for my uh, scheduling app. So I use basically two apps. The the Acuity is implemented into the to the Big Al's Barbershop app, which is the one that I pay a little bit more for. But that's my customized app. That's the app that everybody opens up and sees right here. See, I got videos. I got pictures of the shop. I could pull that. People could see those. If they want to see one of these videos, they can just turn it on. It'll take them to my YouTube channel, take them to the link, and start up the start up the video for them. And it shows them exactly what we do here, what we can do. Because like I've always told you guys, if you can demonstrate to a client exactly what it is you do, then you're going to be ahead of the game. Trust me on that. Well, Joaquin, I hope that answers your questions about what we do here at Big Al's Barbershop. Those are just things that, you know, when you're a barbershop, there's going to be expenses that you're going to incur in order for your shop to maintain and work properly. And uh, scheduling is happens to be one of those things, you know. It's just one of the, the, you know, but it makes my job easier, guys. Trust me, guys. I used to be all walk-ins and it was, sometimes it was, sometimes I miss walk-ins, but sometimes I don't miss walk-ins because when you're doing walk-ins, you got to really be on top of it. You got to be fast. You got to be moving quickly. When you have a schedule, it's kind of nice because you already know what you got to do, how many haircuts you're going to do for the day. The other way, it's kind of up and down, you know. It's, you, you don't know what's going to happen that day. You don't know if it's going to be a great day or a bad day or a good day, you know. And, it, I mean, for me, it's always a good day because I'm the head barber here. But if you're a lower, one of the lower guys that doesn't, you know, they don't have that many clients and you're just waiting for walk-ins, it could be a slow day for you, if, you know, especially if you're working at a shop that does uh, uh, appointments. So keep that in mind for all you new guys uh, that are starting off. If you guys have any questions about my about my uh, uh, scheduling app, if you guys want to know uh, any, if you guys want a link on where to find it, let me know and I'll put it in the description, guys. But uh, I just wanted to share that with you because Joaquin had asked, and you know what, guys, ask the questions and I shall answer. Okay. Again, guys, that's it for this week. 
this Monday is over. We are open again. Uh, normally, we'd be open tomorrow and Wednesday, but I told my boys that we'll start up fresh next week. So next Tuesday, Wednesday, they'll be back in, in, in the office, and uh, we'll start up fresh on Thursday and, and, and take it from there, guys. But I appreciate every single one of you guys tuning in that are always watching my channel and asking questions and, and just being... Uh, uh, being in the in the channel because it makes it a lot easier when when people are asking me things and you know it gives me things to talk about and, and you know what my knowledge that what I know here what I've done here you know I, I just want to share it with you guys so if you guys are interested in getting into this kind of business or being a barbershop owner I'm just you know I keep it transparent guys I keep it real uh, it's it's no joke it's hard it's hard it's a it's real rewarding but it, at the same time guys it, it's like uh, it's like full-time, two full-time jobs, you know? You never, even when you go home, you're still thinking about work. It's just the way I am. But again, guys, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification. That way, every time I drop a video, you get notified, guys. 87% of my videos are being watched by people that aren't even subscribed. So come on, subscribe, all right? With that being said, I'll see you guys on the next video. Grind on. Oops.